Welcome to Web Courses at UCF. In this video, you will learn how to record Zoom meetings and publish your recordings in your course. From your dashboard, select the course you would like to use for the recording. In this case, Zoom is already enabled in the course and appears in the navigation menu. If you do not see Zoom, you haven't enabled it yet. Please visit the Keep Teaching site on how to enable Zoom in your course. Once it has been enabled, it will appear in your and your student's navigation menu. To begin, click Zoom. Here you will see any meeting you have previously scheduled. For this example, we will use an existing meeting. To learn how to schedule meetings in Zoom, please visit the Keep Teaching site. Recordings can be set up during the initial scheduling of a meeting, or you can begin recording while in a meeting. To set up recording when you schedule a meeting, select the Record the Meeting Automatically option. You can elect to save the recording to computer or to the cloud. Cloud recordings are not available immediately. Zoom will notify you via email once the recording is available in the cloud. Please note, due to high volume at this time, recordings may take several hours to become available. If you need to have your recording available immediately, you may want to consider recording it to your computer, then uploading it to Web Courses at UCF. We will show both options for sharing your recordings with your students in a moment. If you select the Automatic Recording option, recording will begin as soon as your meeting has started. Recording can also be started while your meeting is in progress. This is a good option if you only want a specific portion of your meeting to be recorded. To begin recording during a meeting, click on the record icon at the bottom of the screen. Zoom once again gives you the option to select to record to your computer or record to the cloud. You can pause and stop recording at any time by clicking on the pause or stop icon. Use pause if you wish to continue recording at another time during the meeting. This will result in one final video. If you stop and begin recording again, you will create additional videos with the same title. Once your meeting has ended, your video will either be downloaded to your computer or Zoom will begin to optimize it for the cloud, depending on the preference you selected. If you have selected to keep a recording in the cloud, you will receive an email from Zoom when it is available. The recording will appear in the Zoom interface on Web Courses at UCF. Locate and click on the Cloud Recordings tab at the top of the screen. You may need to refresh your Zoom interface within Web Courses at UCF. To make your recording available to your students, click on the Publish toggle. Students will now be able to view your recording. If you prefer to share the link of the video to students, one is available within the email from Zoom. Copy and paste the link into your course as needed. If you do not see your recording, make sure to click on all my Zoom meeting recordings. If you have elected to save your recordings to your computer, you can upload them directly into a web course's assignment, discussion, page, or quiz with the rich content editor. Videos may also be uploaded and shared via YouTube if you prefer. To upload from your computer to web courses at UCF, open the location you want to contain the recording. For this example, we have created a page titled Zoom Lecture Recording Chapter 1. Click on the title. Click on Edit at the top right. You will be in the Rich Content Editor. Find and click on the Upload Video icon. Click on the Upload Media tab. Here you will have the option to just upload the audio version, or as in this example, we will upload the video. Click Select Video File. Locate your Zoom files. Zoom saves your recordings to the Documents area on your computer in the Zoom folder with a date and time stamp. Next, select the video to upload. Click Open. Your video will now appear in the Rich Content area. You can add other content to the page if necessary. When you are finished, click Save and Publish. Your recording is now available. This concludes our video on recording and publishing Zoom meetings. If you need additional support on this or any topic on Web Courses at UCF, please visit our website 
at cdl.ucf.edu support.